FSBO, FISBO. If you're not in the real estate world, you might not know what FISBO means, and that's okay. FSBO is an acronym meaning for sale by owner, and it obviously means when a seller sells a home without an agent representing them. Let's start with the pros. The first and most obvious pro is the cost savings. When selling a home with an agent, you can typically expect to spend five to 6% in commissions, 3% to the listing agent side and 3% to the buyer's agent side. But when you sell for sale by owner, you are only paying the buyer's agent commission, which is 3%, assuming you are selling to a buyer who is represented by an agent. This can significantly reduce what you owe come closing time. If you would like a more detailed list of how much it costs to sell a house in Washington State, then check out the video listed above or in the description below. Another pro is that you'll have complete control over the sale. Essentially, the buck starts and stops with you. You'll have total control over what improvements you make, what you price your home, and who you show it to. Now, to be honest, for pros, that's a pretty short list. Most sellers just want to save money when selling a home on their own. And the fact that they can control every part of the process can be seen as a pro in the beginning, but not so much as the process unfolds. So let's talk about some cons. The first and most obvious con is the lack of pricing strategy. Because public access to data is limited, homeowners have no clear way of knowing which homes are selling or aren't selling. And because closing prices are not required to be publicly disclosed, there is not a precise way to compare one home's value to another. If you underprice your home, you could be losing more than you would pay for the commissions you would pay to an agent to represent you. And if you overprice it, it just won't sell. Another con is lack of real estate knowledge. In any real estate transaction, there could be upwards of 200 plus steps in the process. And all along the way, there can be legal terms and acronyms and all other types of jargon that can be overwhelming, especially for the inexperienced seller. Escrow, contingencies, title, you'll need to know it all. And if you miss an important step, or forget to sign a legal document, it can cost you thousands of dollars. And finally, my last con on the list is the complete control you'll have. I know I listed that as a con above. Most sellers come to realize that it's actually a con after you start. You are responsible for every single step of the process and it takes a serious amount of time. Most people come to realize that the list of to-dos is extremely long and it can feel like a full-time job once you get into it. And that's because it is. Real estate transactions deal with huge sums of money. They can get very messy and complicated. I have been helping people buy and sell real estate for 18 years, and I can promise you that selling your house is a full-time job. Now, if you're up to the task, more power to you. If you'd like some help, comment below or message me, and let's chat about your home's value.